back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So a couple of years ago I did a I try video where I followed the recipe of some of my favorite chefs on uh, the Food Network and one of them was the Barefoot Contessa. So I came across one of her other videos of fish and chips and I really wanted to try it. It looked amazing so I wanted to go ahead and see how it turned out. So if you want to see how it turned out then keep watching. Now before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I want to thank all of my new subscribers. And don't forget to click on that notification bell just in case when I do put up a video you'll be the first to know, okay? So enough talking, let's go ahead and get cooking. So I've never tried this recipe before so I'm really excited to find out how it all turns out and as you can see I'm going to start off by scrubbing the potatoes, the russet potatoes just to make sure that the skin is all clean because we're going to use the skin as we make the chips or the french fries so I'm just going to take it over and just pat them dry, pat the skin dry with the towel just so that you know a lot of extra moisture isn't on the potato so it doesn't steam. And now I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to cut the potatoes in half and I'm going to cut the halves into thirds. This is what Ina did as I watched her video and they're going to be pretty thick. So this is how it's all going to turn out. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish cutting the rest of the potatoes. Okay, so this is what the chips or the potato wedges look like and Ina put a whole lot of amazing flavors into the potatoes. So first off, she added a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. So I just grabbed a uh, garlic clove and I'm just going to run my knife through it and mince it really good. And here I have some fresh rosemary and I really love rosemary. It has such an earthy flavor to it. and. Ina pulled some leaves off and she measured um, around a half a teaspoon of minced rosemary. So I'm just going to take my knife and run it through it and add this to the potatoes as well. So now I'm ready to season up the chips with some amazing flavor. So I'm going to start off by measuring out two tablespoons of some olive oil. And Ina said really good olive oil. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm ready to go ahead and add the minced garlic and the minced rosemary and I'm just going to take my hands and toss everything together just making sure that all the potatoes are coated really really good. Now in Ina's recipe she uses kosher salt but I have some sea salt and I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper in as well. And again, I'm just going to use my hands and just make sure that everything is tossed really well, is fully coated, and they look amazing. So I'm going to take it over to a cookie sheet. And I'm just going to place each potato wedge a couple of inches away from each other because you don't want it to steam as it cooks in the oven. You want the skin to get really crisp. And at the very end, I'm just going to add the rest of the olive oil and the seasonings over the potatoes just to give it that little extra flavor. So I went ahead and I preheated the oven at 400 degrees. This is what's going to make them nice and crisp and I'm going to roast them for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes of roasting in the oven, this is what the chips look like and I'm just going to take a spatula and I'm going to flip them over so that they're golden brown on both sides. And now I'm just going to put them back in the oven and I'm going to let them roast for another 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes of roasting in the oven, this is what the chips look like. They look golden brown, delicious and they smell incredible. So now that the chips are all done, let's get started on the fish part. So uh, Ina used some thick pieces of cod filet and I love this fish and she really emphasized thick because it really holds up really well as you fry them in the grease. So I'm going to take the two pieces and I'm going to cut them in half so that I have four pieces. And now I'm going to season both sides of the fish with some sea salt and some black pepper. So 
So the fish is nice and seasoned and Ina made a delicious batter to coat the fish so let's get started on that. In a separate bowl I'm going to measure out a half a cup and one tablespoon of flour. I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of baking powder, one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper for a little heat, a half a teaspoon of fresh lemon zest, lemon always goes well with seafood, one teaspoon of sea salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and here I'm going to add a half a cup of water and crack one large egg. And just grab a spoon or a spatula and mix and combine everything together. And you're really going to smell the lemon zest in this batter which is why it's going to be so delicious. So let's move over to the stove so we can get started frying the fish. Now over medium high heat I'm going to add some vegetable oil. I think Ina mentioned two and a half inches but I'm just going to eyeball it. My grease is nice and hot and ready to go. I've already dipped my fish in the batter and I'm going to gently lay them in the oil and you want to be careful because it's hot and you don't want it to splash all over you. So I'm going to let these go between three and four minutes on both sides. Now after frying for three to four minutes on both sides, this is what the fish looks like. This is, look at this you guys, look how beautiful and golden brown that crust looks so good, so good. So I'm going to take them out and just let these cool on the cooling rack and I'm going to get started on the next two. So the fish is all done. I mean, what can I say? Just golden brown, thick and delicious. So the only thing left to do is just to serve up everything and eat. Make sure to eat it while it's hot and it is absolutely delicious and I'm so happy I tried this recipe and I love, I love trying Ina's recipes and I really hope you try them too. It was amazing. But we are done you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with everybody you know if they love fish and chips. Follow me, tag me on Instagram, take a picture. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please comment down below and let me know what you think. Now wait you guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscriber button down at the bottom. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see over there. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye.